Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and this is your second stimulus check update for the next stimulus package for Thursday, January 14th. I hope everyone is having a terrific start to the Thursday so far. In this video, I'll be discussing updates in regards to the current relief package and the third stimulus check. I'll also be discussing unemployment, the $2,000 direct payments, and then I'll be wrapping up this video by answering some of the comments and questions that I received in my previous video. But first, if you wouldn't mind real quickly, liking this video give me a big thumbs up. It really just helps with the YouTube algorithm in terms of pushing this video out to other viewers like you and hopefully helping other people like you as well. Okay, so with Joe Biden expected to officially unveil his relief package tonight at around 7.15 p.m. Eastern, it's already expected that key measures will be added, such as the $2,000 stimulus checks, an extension of the enhanced unemployment insurance benefits through September, $100 billion for schools, aid for nutritional assistance, vaccine distribution, among other things. Perhaps one of the biggest provisions to be in the bill, other than the $2,000 direct payments, will be the child tax credit, which would give parents a $3,600 per year tax credit for each kid under the age of six, and a $3,000 per year credit for each kid between the ages of six and 17. Although the final details of this haven't been fully released, this will obviously play a major impact and potentially reducing child poverty. Also, with all the stimulus payments given out over the past year, it really leads one to wonder, could something like universal basic income be the future? We already saw in the most recent presidential Democratic primary, one candidate, Andrew Yang, pushing that idea. And now that same candidate, Andrew Yang, is running for mayor in New York, where he's calling for New York City to adopt the largest basic income program in the country at $1 billion per year. This program would offer $2,000 per year for 500,000 residents in New York City with the greatest need. Now, I won't go too much into the pros and cons of universal basic income or UBI, but I will say that for most countries that did try it, it didn't really work out the best. Still though, if Yang is elected as mayor, this will definitely be something to keep an eye out on. In unemployment news, just when we thought our economy was improving and our unemployment claims would be going down, we actually saw a surge in them last week up to 965,000. Not only is this total worse than Wall Street estimates of 800,000, but they're also well above the previous week's total of 784,000. Out of the new unemployment claims, Illinois saw the biggest jump of 51,280, most likely due to the city of Chicago, where they're having further restrictions on restaurants. Now, luckily for those on unemployment benefits, we were able to get the federal boost for them extended through the middle of March. However, since it doesn't look like things are going to be returning to normal anytime soon, it may be vital for them to be extended once again for perhaps another few months. In Joe Biden's plan, it looks like they are going to be extended through September, but we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so at this point in time, I'm gonna move right along to answering some of the comments and questions that I received in my previous video. And if you do have any other comments or questions for me, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I do try to answer as many of the comments and questions as I possibly can, but for those comments and questions I'm not able to respond to, I do try to pick some of the more popular ones to answer in the next video in video form. Okay, so without further ado, let me go ahead and jump into the first comment of today's video, which is from Fatty. Fatty says, are we going to receive the full $2,000 or only an additional $1,400? Plus, would the unemployment be retroactive? Okay, thank you so much for your question, and more than likely, we would only be receiving an additional $1,400 on top of the $600 we already received. However, it's also possible that people who weren't eligible for the $600 direct payment, such as dependents over the age of 17, may be eligible to receive the full $2,000 payment. With that said, since the official bill hasn't been released yet, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, moving along to the next question of today's video, which is from James. James says, Hi, are the 2020 stimulus payments taxable? Okay, thank you so much for your question, James, and no, the stimulus payments we have been receiving are not taxable. Neither the first direct payment of $1,200 nor the most recent direct payment of $600 will be taxable. Instead, they are considered an advanced refundable tax credit. However, if you received unemployment benefits at any point during the year, that money would be taxable, so I always recommend people to either have the money taken out up front or to make sure that they have some of it set aside during the year just so they're not met with an unexpected tax burden when tax season comes around. 
Alright, so on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. If you did enjoy the content in this video, and you'd like to see more videos like it, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. It is completely free to do so, and it's a great support to me. Also, if you'd like to receive four free socks from Weeble, with two of them valued all the way up to $1,600 each, or one free sock from Robinhood just for signing up, please feel free to claim those free socks by clicking the link in the description box below. And finally, if you join Rakuten with my referral link in the description box below and spend at least $20, Rakuten will give you $20 cash back. This means you can buy an item through Rakuten with one of the referral links, such as Macy's, for $20, which would be right around $22 after tax, and Rakuten will give you $20 just for making that purchase. This is just an incredible deal that I would love for everyone to take advantage of. Okay, so until next time, I'll see you guys, and I hope you have a great day today.